Hey guys, what's up? Kyle Hunt, Hunt Fitness, back with the Ask Hunt series. That is, yes, Ask Hunt. Hashtag Ask Hunt. You have a question, send it to me. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. I don't give a shit how you get it to me. Just send me a question with the hashtag Ask, Ask Hunt, and uh, send it to me, and I'll get it up to you guys. Here we go. Question is from Victor. Ask Hunt. How do you like Rich Froning's novel? I posted a picture on my Instagram that I was reading Rich Froning's new book. First, what it takes to win. If you guys don't know, Rich Froning is now three-time CrossFit Games champion. At the time, he was only two-time. I'm reading it. Continue with the question. I'm reading it right now, and I love it. How has it influenced your style of training? Well, to answer the question really quickly, I loved it. I, I loved the book. I mean, I highly recommend it. Uh, he talks a lot about his faith in there, talks about his motivation behind uh, competing in CrossFit, how he got into CrossFit, his training background, how his training has evolved since he's been in CrossFit, and uh, basically what it takes to win at CrossFit. Very entertaining. Uh, awesome. What I took from it. Uh, did it influence my training? I mean, it didn't really influence my training. One thing I will say, just learning a little bit more about Rich Froning, not necessarily in the book, but learning about him. The dude trains every day, and he trains up to six hours a day. So all you motherfuckers that are out there on your three-day split complaining about overtraining because you're in the gym three hours, this guy does that before noon every day. Um, not seeing that's what you need to do for hypertrophy or strength or anything like that. For CrossFit, competing in the CrossFit Games and winning the CrossFit Games, you pretty much have to for certain points in the year. That's what you're going to have to do because the demand is so high. But what I'm saying is it's possible. Uh, overtrain. You guys, most people get so caught up and, and worried about overtraining, they don't actually even train hard enough to make adaptations. Far more people undertrain than overtrain. Meaning, if you're not an elite athlete, you're probably not overtraining. I'm, I'm sorry, you just don't even have the ability to overtrain. Uh, another thing, Rich Froning, best CrossFit Games athlete in the world. Doesn't really follow a diet. Uh, basically eats whatever he wants. I mean, he tries to eat healthy, but at the same time, he, you know, he eats whatever he wants. Uh, doesn't follow any type of diet. Now, why that's significant? A lot of CrossFit athletes seem to think, I don't know how they got this in their head. Maybe it was from Rob Wolf, but because he was in, involved with CrossFit in the, big, in the early days. They think paleo is the way to go with CrossFit. You can't have a worse diet for, for CrossFit, in my opinion. A low-carb diet with such a metabolically demanding sport? It's stupid. Um, and, and it kind of points to, again, why a more flexible diet is probably the way to go for athletes. The next flexible dieting video series, or video in the series, is actually going to touch on that. And why more athletes should follow flexible dieting approaches and how that can benefit them and improve their sport performance. But, uh, I mean, he doesn't follow, I'm not saying Rich Froning follows a flexible diet, he doesn't, because he doesn't track anything. I am saying he's really flexible with his diet, and if he did track it, I think he possibly, I mean, I don't want to say he could get better, he's already such a great athlete, but I think he could maybe have a little bit more idea of how he can change his diet and kind of peak it for competition. So, Rich, if you're watching this, get a hold of me. We'll hook you up. But anyway, yeah, I love the book. Highly recommend it. It's a pretty cheap get right from Amazon or Rogue Fitness. I'll give you some links in the description box. But if you guys have a question, ask Hunt. Hashtag ask Hunt on any of my social media outlets. Thanks, guys. Peace.